This is the Schmo with the Pro with the number 7th ranked UFC middleweight, the always outspoken Sean Strickland in the flesh, Extreme Couture. It's flight week. How we doing? Oh, man. Second day of fight camp. I like it. It's almost to an end. It's been a long one. I'm ready for it. Yeah, I feel good, man. I feel good. Sean Strickland to the rescue, man. They ended 2022 UFC fight night with you in the main card. Now they start 2023 with Sean Strickland headlining again. Yeah, man, I feel fucking good. Been training hard, a lot of motorcycle riding, snowboarding. Like, I think I'm going to apply these skills when I fight this man. So it's going to be good. You're going to see a whole different guy. Whole different guy. We went back to the drawing board this last couple days. We went to the cage. We worked on everything I didn't do my last fight. It's been a long, hard fucking camp. We're ready for it. What were you doing when you got the call yesterday to fight this guy, Nazardine Imanov, the number 12th ranked UFC middleweight? I was uh, planning a snowboarding trip. So fucking, you man, you fucked my snowboarding trip up. But I'm going to make fucking some money. So I guess I'll forgive you after I beat you. A big bump of pay? The UFC, man, they, they're good to me. The UFC is good to me. I like the UFC, guys. I like the UFC. You know, as, as far as a prostitute goes, I'm a, I'm a pretty happy one. <laughs> so obviously the last time we saw you in the octagon, you didn't get the decision against Jerry Cannonier. You're pretty vocal about that. You thought you won that fight, though. How did you get the mindset right going into this one and ready to go right here in 2023, this you know, upcoming weekend? Let me tell you something, because judges are idiots. What you guys seen was a Mayweather, Mayweather style of fighting. I didn't get fucking hit. I got a scratch on my nose. There is so much fucking perfection in that. And you got stupid fucking judges and all they do is fucking, I don't even know what they do. They probably don't even watch the fights. They don't know what the fuck they're doing. And they can't, they can't witness greatness and be like, oh, that's greatness. They just see a scratch on the nose and be like, I'm a fucking idiot, I know what I'm doing. The guy, the guy threw a couple of kicks, he won. Well, listen, life's about pivots. The Schmo had a whole ceremony. We had a change of plans just like you. Listen. First time ever, Schmo Awards, back-to-back -back winners. You're the Schmoest interview of the year. We couldn't even pin it down to one, but it, maybe all of them got it. Let me it. tell you something, you guys, and this is the Schmo's audience. If you guys like me, that should say something about yourselves. And you should all look in the fucking mirror and understand that you need to be better. Because if you like me, there's something fucking wrong with you guys. Bottom fucking line. Let's fucking go. You're not even going to open it? There's no fucking check in here, Small. There ain't no check in here. I'm never doing this fucking interview again. Guys, there's no fucking check in here. <laughs> nah, I'm sure. You're not even holding it the right way. Oh, it's a fucking, it's a piece of glass, Small. What do you want me to fucking do with this, dude? Put, like, put, put some work hey, into this. Anybody, why don't we sign it? I don't fucking want this, Small. I mean, I like you, Small. I like you. I'm the only guy I do interviews with. But it's a fucking piece of glass. I'm not paying my fucking rent with this. Why don't you shoot it? Maybe you could autograph it, sell it to your what? fans? We'll fucking, we'll go to my buddy Jason Manley. We'll get some fucking, at the, at the gun shop in Vegas. We'll get some machine guns and we'll fucking shoot it. We'll, we'll put it to bed right. But it's got to be an AR-15, not AK-47, yeah? Well, I mean, it depends if I'm buying the ammo. If I'm buying the ammo, I'm going to AK-47. It's cheaper. If Manley's buying the ammo, we'll fucking shoot the 50 cal. Hey, you correctly predicted Marvin Vittori. He's right here inside the gym. You were doing some sparring with him. Marvin Vittori, add to the list of killers, middleweight division inside Extreme Couture. Bottom line, you guys, I beat Jerry Cannonier. Am I a sore fucking losing? A hundred fucking percent. But I'm allowed to because I won that fight. Yeah, stupid judges. But let me fucking tell you guys, the Extreme Couture is one of the most fucking stacked middleweight 170 up gyms. There's little guys, but I mean, if you're this fucking big, I don't really know you exist. If I can't fucking fight you, I don't really pay attention to you. There's a lot of good little guys, but this is one of the stacked fucking gyms. So if you want to be a fighter, if you want to get your, if you want to get your fucking dick hard in this cage, come on down. Why did you want this fight at 205 pounds? Why not like 195 catch weight? I know 185 would have been too short notice, but why 205? Well, I don't know. I'll stand back. When you guys see the physique of cookies and pizzas for the last, you know, three weeks, it would have been really hard for me to make 195. I'm about 215 plus right now. So, ah, speaking of the fucking devil. Oh, 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 in the fucking matrix. In the fucking matrix. Oh, yeah. <laughs> It's good to see you, Marvin. He's ready. He's ready. Look good in the cage. Yeah, yeah. Another killer he's, added. He's ready. I'm fucking fat, bro. We're gonna be, we're gonna be the villains of the MMA bro, this right is now. All fucking man. Give me this fuck. Give me this fucking remote. This is all fucking man, bro. When you're when you're on top of your wife. When you're on top of your wife. 
with your little, well, I'm getting there. When you're on top of your wife with your little fucking baby dick and you're humping her like a fucking hamster, she's thinking about this, bro. She's thinking about the chest hair, the hairy fucking balls. That's what she's thinking about. Hey, is this going to be the next best duo of mixed martial arts, it middleweight is, division, 185? Now it's public. It has been for a while. Yes. We've been friends. Now it's going to be public. It's public. I don't know if we're over friends. I don't know if we're friends. But I do like Marvin in it. That fuck, bro. Like you. This guy oh, hits me up. He's the first guy he hits up after his fights. Whenever he gets a fight, now he's going to say we're not friends. No, all right, all right. I'll, I'll go worried a little bit. He might be a little bit like the other side almost. Yes, here's what I'll tell you guys. Every you, never trust, you never trust a f but now that you're in this interview, Roman deleads a man. He's trained inside the gym. He's your next opponent, man. Oh, man, since since the moment that he accepted the fight, we can't be friends. We were, you know, but we even have friends in common. But it is what it is. I can't I can't be like chatting shit with somebody and then like fight him, you know. Yeah. So maybe after, but now it's on, you know. How does he get his hand raised Saturday evening? The way he always does, like. Being annoying as fuck. Jab. Being nah. Fucking just like you nah, know, like. Be a fucking man, bro. You say be a fucking man. Last fight, you guys, I was a jab warrior. Got to, you got to understand. I got knocked out by a big fucking Brazilian. But this fight. God's fucking right now. Look at this. <laughs> but this fight, bro. I've been training hard. I've been eating fucking pizza. I'm gonna do the fucking man dance. You're actually gonna see this fucking punch get thrown. You might even see a fucking takedown. Maybe if you're lucky. Maybe. And this fight by finish. Fuck yeah, let's fucking go. My cardio, I have the cardio. <laughs> I can't even say that with laugh. My cardio is uh, it's gonna be good, you guys. Maybe maybe it doesn't go to the five rounds. Maybe we'll go that better. Okay. But again, Smo, you gotta understand, dude. Marvin's making fun of my physique, but a lot of women, a lot of women, just and to my fans, when you crawl on top of your wife, girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever, and you got that little baby, and you're like, and you're barely getting in like an inch, you know what she's thinking about? She's thinking about the man who doesn't wear deodorant. You see this fucking chest hair? This is fucking testosterone. Six times a day if you need it. So again, guys, don't hate on the fat man. Maybe y'all should eat more more. Can we get a final message for all the Tarzan fans out there worldwide? You know what, you guys? Can I get this for a sex I, 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 I Let me get it, bro. Let me get it. Fuck, Smo. Let me get it. Let me get it. Here, I got the, little, the face, the face in the right way. Listen, you guys. I thought I got robbed. A lot of you guys came out and supported me. I appreciate that shit because I'm a salty motherfucker. But I'll tell you guys, real fucking talk. This fight, you guys, I stepped in, and it's going to be a fucking war. And I'm going to do it for you sick motherfuckers, dude. I'm going to do it for you guys. There you go, Smo. He's the pro. I'm the Schmo. The Schmo is interview of the year, but you hurt the Schmo's feelings here. No, again, guys, I love the fucking small. He's the only guy I do interviews with. But it's a piece of fucking glass, man. You know what I'm saying? Like... Fucking give me a fucking check next time. And then we'll then I'll fucking say, let's go smoke. Beggars can't be choosers. We're out. Let's go.